Hello everybody, I hope everyone's feeling good. I wanna jump right into this video because this video is about helping you um, save your money and change the relationship with your money. Now the first question I'll ask is, when you hear the word money, what do you feel? If it's anxiety, if it's worry, any type of negative emotion, I want these steps to help change that into something positive and, um, and something reassuring where we can, um, we can get you in the right path, get us all in the right path financially. So first step here, this is the first rule, control your impulses. Stop ordering takeout, start cooking more at home. Okay. Um, when shopping, stop adding to the list. You need to control those impulses. Now, that's up to you. That's up to you to control it. That's up to you to work on it. So that, like, there's no magical answer here. It's, it's up to you to be disciplined and put in the work, the thought, have conversation. Whatever you need to do to improve the impulse and to get more control of it, do it. So control your impulses. Step two, become a minimalist at your household. And what I mean about that is a little trick I like to do is I act like my products at my home, shampoos, toothpaste, anything, toilet paper, whatever it may be, it's gold. Pretend that it's gold. You wouldn't just throw gold down the drain. Okay, you wouldn't throw gold in the garbage can so easily. Pretend the shampoo, the toothpaste, that's liquid gold. Okay, so become a minimalist, right? Stop wasting so much. Right? Like, I, even when you use, to like, toilet paper, you know, I, when I was younger... Even up until lately, I would just use so much, too much, like for whatever, cleaning and whatever it is, right? Just be a minimalist and and just cut out the waste, right? So <laughs> thought of a funny thing there. But number three, that ties in with controlling the impulses, is don't spend above your needs, right? So put things in two categories. What do you want and what you need? So clearly what you need is more important. So focus on that and what you want that can wait. To tell you the truth, you probably don't even need it at all. You really don't, whatever it is, right? Example, I, uh, for the longest time I've needed a new controller for my PlayStation and I just keep procrastinating on that I think that's the only time where procrastination is good for me <laughs> where I haven't bought this freaking controller man so two piles right what you need and what you want so what you need is more important so hopefully these steps can help I wanted to really just get to the point in this video um, and, and, and I hope you guys can change a relationship with money because I, I know in today's world, especially right now, and things all expensive and, you know, people being frantic about, you know, mortgages and taking care of their family. Hopefully these steps can help and then bring you some peace of mind where we're not just in this spiral of worry financially, right? So I want to end this in a positive note. You guys can do this. Anybody can do this. Just be disciplined with yourself and, um, and yeah, and save that money. Save that money and feel good, baby. Feel good. Change that relationship. Because I'm telling you, we're, we're all in this together. So anything, any any facet of life where we can improve 
and give each other advice, we, we need to be doing it. There's a huge shift going on in the world. You might not see it on social media or news. Whoever still watches the news, please don't. But um, you, 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 might, you might not see it, but there's a huge shift. And um, anything we can do to help one another as, as a human collective, I believe it's, it's not only worth doing, I believe it's necessary. So love you guys. Good luck in this. And I'll see you next video.